Okay, good morning everybody. I got about one hour of sleep today because it's our last day in Jakarta and we're over to the west side. Actually, we're not even in Jakarta anymore. Uh, I'm not sure where we are. You clicked on the video, you know. And we're at Cow Play, Cow Play, Cow Moo. Yeah, you tell me, I, I don't know. But this arcade, this arcade has a nice surprise at the end that you're gonna see in a second. But for the start, there is a lot of redemption. Uh, so we're gonna burn through the redemption quite quickly. We've got Hungry Hippos here, King Kong Island VR. Uh, there are some interesting cranes, like round one style cranes here. Things like that, pretty cool. Uh, but we're gonna burn through the redemption today because there is a surprise at the end, a pretty cool surprise. And maybe there's more surprise halfway through the video, so you guys that skip through, well, you're gonna miss it. All right, look at this. It looks like a gambling hall, doesn't it? Look at that. They really push the token packages here, make it all colorful and cool, um, but yeah, it's gonna set you back a, a pretty penny if you want maximum value. Uh, but that's the thing with arcades in Jakarta. If you're a local and you come here all the time, you always go to the same time zone, you always go to the same fun zone, you get a good deal. But if you're only visiting, that's when you kind of get a bad deal here. Uh, mini, no, they're just ticket eaters down there. All right, okay, let's press forward. It's so colorful, isn't it? Like all the arcades in Jakarta and the surrounding areas, very colorful, very new. Very redemption heavy. Oh, it's actually an original Down the Clown. We haven't seen one yet. It's a basketball with some sort of adventure game built into it. Wow. All right. Oh, it's one of those dodgeball games. Dodgeball Ultimate Arena. All right. Check out the Megalodon. Wow. Hollywood Bowl with cream in their pants at a multi multi multiplayer fast and furious look at that it, you know it looks aesthetically pleasing maybe it plays like a, a bag of crap i don't know i've never actually played it because it's usually twice the price of everything else visually 10 out of 10 visually 10 out of 10. hollywood bowl would eat that up unless the super bikes fall then uh, i think they'd probably take the super bikes for but we don't have a super bikes for yet so Oh wow, Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah, definitely uh, Japanese style crane, crane games here. Ah, or well, at least there's no floppy dairy milk in there. <laughs> so the tickets here, you actually get a supermarket basket right here. And you carry that around with you, put all your tickets in there. Then you take it over to the eaters. Now the arcades here, they just survive purely on redemption. And you can see that everywhere. You've seen that in the other videos in, in Jakarta, for example. Very redemption heavy. Uh, but some of the redemption games have a lot more gameplay with them. I saw some actual video games that dispense tickets. Something you just don't really see in the UK. Um, mostly the arcades in the UK is like hit a button, get tickets. There's, there's not really much value to it. Here there's a bit more value in the redemption, but uh, it's still redemption at the end of the day. But at least the cranes have, uh, you know, not bad prizes in them. All right, we're getting to the good part now. Um, yeah, a lot of these arcades will stick the video games in one end and the redemption in the other end. Which means if you like video games, like most other people, I suppose, most regulars anyway, then it tends to make one end of the arcade really busy and the redemption end kind of empty. So if you're trying to play a game that requires a bit of concentration, then you have to put up with the air hockey and all the other shit as well. That's kind of annoying. Um, it's nice to sort of spread them out, you know? Put the more punching bags and things within the redemption themselves. And then people that want to kind of focus on a game that requires a bit of concentration. Look at this thing here. Uh, they, they can do that, you know. 
When we were playing yesterday, we had um, a kid that kept running on the machine while we were playing. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, the kid kept running on the machine while we were playing. Uh, after the second time, I said to the parents, you know, uh, <laughs> I was pretty mad. I said you should have wore a condom, but I did apologize afterwards. Um, but then they were intentionally making their kids scream just to annoy me. Which was actually fair play on their part because it worked. Um, I don't remember what my point was now. Um, oh yeah, that was it. But yeah, they were just trying to play the punching game and... Uh, like I say, they just put the wrong games next to each other. There's not much thought into positioning here. Uh, you always know an arcade with a passionate owner, uh, someone that plays video games, because they actually think about the placement of the machines. Uh, I could go into pretty much any arcade and I know if the owner is a video gamer or whether they're just in it for the money. It's super obvious. Okay, we're getting to the good bit now. Sound Vortex, look at this. I think this is the second full-size Sound Vortex that I've seen so far. And we've been to a lot of arcades. But check this out. Now this place opens at 10 in the morning. And at 10 in the morning, these machines are absolutely jam-packed. It's absolutely crazy. They've even got a name board. And in the afternoon... I have no idea what that says. And in the afternoon, this place gets absolutely rammed. Absolutely rammed. And right now it's 10.15 uh, in the morning. Have you ever seen an arcade this busy at 10.15? And it's a Sunday. Wow. Uh, Gitadora here. Mini, mini Gitadora. Alright. Yeah, look at this vending machine. This is pretty much what we've been drinking while we've been here. Tea, 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 tea with jelly, root beer, which was super surprising. They have A&W here and uh, full fat sodas. They, that is the drink selection, pretty much anywhere. Uh, nostalgia, the piano game where you can hit the surrounding five keys and you're still perfected. Look at all these My My DX's right here, look. I think they're all DX's actually. Absolutely crazy, right? Wow. And we're coming into the last area here. We have two Pump Phoenix machines. We've got a little fan in here, we've got a bit of circulation. And there's a little phone holder here so you can make streams while you're playing with your friends. So right now we have some credits in here. We're playing some verses on doubles. Uh, we got some of the local community here. It's our last day, so they're sort of coming in to say bye uh, before we disappear down south to a different city. There's a couple of people here that were at WPF 2016. So they're playing with us today, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, joint Phoenix machines, you can have online matching between them, so that's pretty cool. So that's what we're doing today. And around here you can see the baskets are absolutely full of tickets here. People are just churning out. Uh, I used to live in Las Vegas and you just see this all the time in the casinos. It kind of trips that same sort of uh, thing in your mind. The, the, uh, the, the gambling switch, you know, it's, it's, it's the same, it's just sort of disguised as video games. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Cow, moo, cow, oh, what was it? Cows go moo, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you, we're gonna get back to the pump it up. But uh, yeah, this is the last video I'm gonna make in the Jakarta region. Next time you see me, we'll be down south in Yogyakarta and then on to Bali. So thank you for supporting the channel and watching the videos. It means a lot and I'll see you next time in the next video. Take care.